take off very delicate it's like when I had to take it off it was very hard they were all on top it may be a little loud but it's loud and it's just very locked in I want to show you the hand say they all the bones come off it's like a puzzle you get your web cage right here Instead of using my hands, I'm going to use my forceps to take them out. Now, you may wonder where that it's supposed to be this way, but actually it's like here, so we can eat food for all these out, not just clothes. So let's put this, I know. Let's open up our organizer. So, lay it out flat, and we can put all the bones we take out. I don't know, organize it. That sounds fine with you. That sounds fine with me. So, we, let's take out some body parts. This guy. So, when I put them on, they're marked with letters. So, see, like, all these letters here, they, you gotta read them from the bottom. Let's see if I can do this. So, this is, so this is letter V. So it's like a fine V as quickly. Ah, whip cage, okay? This is all, oh, they're, they're very sticky. So don't leave these stuff in the sun or else they melt. That's little all. So let's find little all here. Ah, it's liver. Uh, I'm so, I love the heart of this human. It's so real life. In a real life, that is. That is O, of course. It's O for Hulk. I don't have to read it because it's already on the book. I didn't say that. This is good for your children to learn some body parts. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's go the biggest one. Now, when I opened the bag, of the, they were all in bag. Well, they kind of. I kind of, I don't get it, how these are so, like, wobbly, so it, it kind of fell off, but, and, uh, this thing doesn't last very long, because, you know, you want to keep it shaped. Now, that was, TU, TU intestines. You got one big one and one small one. Now, we go on, to this. Whoops, I need to, I'm gonna miss these like that. There we go. These are your kidneys. And they're on cue. I'll just slightly carefully put them there. 
And now, what about we go on my favorite part of my body, which is the stomach. Blood wise. And I'm gonna do the lungs. We'll save the hardwood for last. But I'm really big. Really very big. I think it's better than the in the stems. Now, it's still more the same. We need to think in our bodies, so perfectly I was glad it came with a brain. That's a little. Hey. Um, and I'm gonna put this one back. Back. First, or last. Okay, cool. The squall is nice. And enough to fit one brain. You gotta close it. And as you may see, that you have this little hole right there. See that little hole? You gotta push in a little hard, not too much strength. When I was a kid, like almost like I think I was five, and I had, I had a different one, 2014. Now this one I'm worried about. This it broke in half, and I was very sad because I dropped it in my own room. So we got a 2014 and I'm definitely keeping this in my shelf. So now we go on to uh, what gee, which one should I do first? Maybe I'll go with this thing. Okay, okay. So this right here, it's letter N. And let's see. I'm doing it. A, B, C, D in my hand. Ah, and that was a esophagus. Part of your neck, but you can't really feel it because it's by your lungs. And let's see, we got this little thingy. My brother said, what is this thing? And I was like, what is it too? And then I learned I got to look in my book and my A, B, C words and it was uh, what is diaphragm. It's this weird thing. I was like, why in the world is that? Now we're going on, I like to start with my the muscle of the body. Half of most of it's bone, but muscle, of course. It's the your arm muscle. I'm just gonna put it back because this is very hard to put back in place. This is, very hard to get in place. This is your leg muscle. You gotta have muscles everywhere. Now let's do this other all so we can begin with all. Your hand and then we're going to the middle part which now I wonder if it's how to take this out. Very tight. That's little H and that is radius and ulna. Sounds funny to you guys but it's part of your body. What is that? You know, sometimes you don't have the pushing in there. That, that's just how you want to display. Now this big bone right here. Hmm, I have to match it. Um, I'm back to saying, I think it's the G. No, I think, yeah, it is right. And I'm going all the way down to this humerus. And this big guy right here is a little D. Let's go with this guy. Shoulders and spine. You got it. It's hooked up your shoulders and your spine. Now, what? And you got. Okay. It must be right by. I think it's okay. Oh, yes, it is the shape. I've been practicing a lot, so I'm doing it by shape. <laughs> mm, let's see, now that was little K. Let's put that all the way down the K. Mm. Next, Tiba and Ibula. Now, I'm very thinking. Oh wait, was that K? I think I should be doing J. That J was FEMA or FEMA. Six. 
see. So, this is now. You have your head cap now. Wow, guys, this is a very awesome toy. It's teaching me reading. Before grade three, it's a it's a very nice toy. I love it a lot. I love feeling the sticky glue stuff. So if you guys get this toy, it's very great, nice. So bye, guys. I hope you enjoy my video. Please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up.